everybody? Hi, how's everyone today? Hope everyone's doing okay. We'll just turn that music down. Uh, Veo stream, nice. Yes, nice, very nice. Nice, calm, and peaceful, hopefully. Okay, let's get. Oh, don't yawn. Alright, there we are, there we are, okay. Mm. So, today is a little something different because I actually don't have a whole lot of time. So, I am going to just do something uh, to teach everyone. You probably already know how to do this. It's a type of crack and drive, has to deal with the gear drive mechanisms. And I think if you've watched the alien video, you'll recognize what's in front of you. No sleep, only Veos. <laughs> Aw, we love you too. But seriously, man, get some sleep. Calm before the storm. Yes, the primordial evil. The calm before the storm. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and dissect this real quick. Just see the inner workings. Without breaking it, hopefully. Okay. Bales, I would sacrifice my firstborn child for you. <laughs> Damn. Damn, bro, that's deep. That's deep, man. But seriously, don't do that. You'll probably get arrested. Veos Rock. Robot Rock. Okay, so this is going to be a gear drive tutorial. It's going to be quick and easy, so just make sure you got your notepads out. As a matter of fact, let me just copy down some information real quick. Uh, traverse your... Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Locked. Okay. Uh-huh. 40. So, point 40. Okay, good. Alright. That's no problem. We're just gonna start now. Yeah. D uh, don't save. Teach us, old master Veos. Teach us! First time catching a Veos stream from the very beginning. Hype time! Hey. Well, welcome. Uh, hope I don't bore everybody to death. I'm extremely exhausted. But I will try to keep a light and cheery atmosphere. Um, Veos, do you know what the dog is doing? <laughs> what the dog doing? <laughs> Veos, I killed Jin. What do I do? Uh, resurrect them. Yes. You must resurrect them using uh, jelly and coffee beans. Let's see. Alright. Okay, so... This is going to be a test craft. So, I meant Jeb. <laughs> yes, resurrect Jeb. Veos, do you know what are those? Veos, do you know what are those? I don't know. What are those? These no, 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 no. Hi, I'm a fan. Well, I'm a fan of you, Joes. Thank you so much for your support. So we need a Kerbal to test out the G-forces of this... Uh, Star Drive. Actually, let's, let's name it that. X Star Drive, which is actually a gear drive, but hey, who cares? He's like, damn, you just de me. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I've heard that joke so many times. Uh, he, Veos, yes, how are you today? How is everybody today, by the way? We're not going to have a whole lot of people over, but the people who are over today are very, very welcome, and thank you again for your support. But this is going to be probably an hour long, give or take. What a privilege. God, he's not in my videos, <laughs> Yeah, you'll be fine. Darren, hello, how are you today? Okay. Take notes, everybody. I'm only going to do this once, damn it. Okay, so this is going to be a gear drive tutorial. Let's see, what do we need? First, we need a place to store our gear drive. Uh, let's do 
we knew. Do, 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 do. Okay, it's in here somewhere. Don't worry. It's not like I'm exhausted or anything. I'm sure I'll find what I'm looking for. Hmm, there we are. Okay, so we're going to use a small one. What is this? A T12 structural tube. Okay. Now, structural tubing, you have a neat little thing where you can make it go longer or shorter, and it even changes color. Well, then again, it might be the mod that I have called Restock that's doing that. But I do know that actual stock allows you to make it shrink or grow, depending. Have a good day, Joe's. Have a good day. Somebody leaving? What is your opinion on beans? Uh, I don't know. I don't think I have one. Metal Gear Kerbal. Why, hello there. Hello there. Uh, let those the Kraken. Let loose. Let loose the Kraken. <laughs> uh, let loose the Kraken. Okay, so let's go ahead and build the gear, the gear drive. My gosh, English. The gear drive. Let's build the gear drive. Okay, I'm going to use for this gear drive. I'm going to use the hydraulic cylinder IP2. And we're just going to go for something really simple. We're going to do one gear drive for now. And you can actually do this multiple times. But I will tell you a warning as well as a secret to doing multiple gear drives. We're just going to do one for now. Think of it as a one piston engine. Okay? For now. We'll make it more complex later. Writing this down because he only do it once. Shrug. <laughs> what is your PFP? My PFP? I don't know. That's a good question. I'll get back to you on that. Let's see here. Okay, so the gear drive that we're using is going to be the LY05 or Dash 05. Steerable landing gear. This part in KSP is known to be buggy as all hell. Okay, which is good for our Kraken drive, or or Star Drive, however you want to say it. The buggy part, we will make this buggy part actually work for us. So I'm going to turn on my toggle snap, kind of come onto the side right here, just before it just kind of right there. There we go. Okay. Then I'm going to take the tool move, which by the way you can control these using the one, two, three, four keys in case you didn't know. They're up here. It's kind of blocked by... Um, matter of fact, let me see if I can move that real quick. I put it up there so people could see more of what's going on over here, but I can see that it might be of a, of a visual hindrance. Let me see here. Let's see here. Chat. You don't mind if I shrink you guys, right? Oh, no! That's fine, right? You don't mind being shrunk, right? Let's put you. Let's put you over here. There you go. Stay in your corner. Damn it! Don't you dare move. That's right. I'll put you guys in the corner. Anyway, <laughs> one, two, three. So one, two, three, four. See how it's changing up here? One, two, three, four. You can do that via keyboard, just in case you didn't know. But we're going to use the move tool. We're going to hit the F key. The F key allows us to offset to local or offset to absolute. Op absolute is a grid that's constant. Local is the direction that the actual part is facing. So we're going to go for absolute. We're going to hold down our shift key and just drag it down. Boom. There we go. It's virtually perfect now in its place. Yes, what about carding a discord server for your channel and then we can maybe give video ideas things like that I had a discord channel a long time ago and unfortunately that got so out of control that I had to give it to somebody else to control and I had to walk away from it because it was completely out of control it ran my life basically so I now no longer have a discord but that's okay that's okay 
Everything would be just fine. Now let me see if this works. Oh shoot, nope, it doesn't. Okay, so I screwed up. I was trying to put this inside and I ended up putting it outside. Let me see if I can't grab this sucker and put it on the inside. There we go, okay. Now interestingly, interestingly, oh gosh, English. Wow, I'm tired. Alt, if you hold down, if you hold down the Alt key, it'll automatically snap to the nearest green unit or the nearest green uh, connection node. Okay, so that's an interesting thing you guys can learn. So I'm holding down Alt key, and it instantly connects to the connection nodes. If I let go of Alt key, this is what happens. If I hold down Alt key, suddenly it tags along pretty good. So if you didn't know that, well, there you go. If you did, well, well congratulations. You're smart. You're just such a smart KSP player. There we go. Now I can cover it up. Sweet. <laughs> ah, we're tiny. <laughs> oh, we still don't know what his PFP is. Yes, and you'll never know. Uh, let's see, does anyone know how to do that on console? Ooh, yeah, console, not so... M see, this is why I love PC versus console. So many different options. More options, actually. Console feels very restricted. Okay, so... Now that we have that in place... We're going to need to put something under this gear drive. Like a platform. But it can't be just any platform. It has to be something that has a very high tolerance. Okay? If you look underneath here, you have mass, and then you have tolerance in meters per second impact. You want the highest. And so far, the highest of any high tolerant part is 80 meters per second. So look for a part that has 80 meters per second impact tolerance. This means that it can run into something at 80 meters per second without popping. So it's a very strong part. Now these, I believe, come from a uh, a downloadable content DLC. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this part. Actually, no. It's for 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 research and purposes. We're going to just go ahead and grab this part. Nice big block. The triangle is for when you kind of start making multiple uh, gear drives all in one spot to get more power. But we're just going to grab that, holding down the shift key, bring it down ever so gently. There we go. So you should be like this. If you're following along and playing along, you should be like this. Consoles all desperately need a mouse-like input. <laughs> Although there are some PC players that actually buy console uh, controls, like console handheld controls, and through the USB port connect it to the CPU in order to play this, in order to play their games through the CPU like a console game. You know, for some people, it's it's easier with having everything to your fingertips and stuff. I know that. I know. I know. Shoot. I know. I used to play console a lot. It took a while for me to get really, really used to keyboard and mouse, but eventually I got really good at it. At it. Okay. <clears throat> you only knew about the docking port drive? Well, today's your lucky day. Remember, if you're trying to talk to me, uh, just put down my name. It highlights it in orange for me, so it catches my eye a lot better. If I don't get to your question, just repeat it later on down. You know, don't spam or anything. Just repeat it later on down, and I'll definitely try to get to you. But, let's move on, since we don't have a whole lot of time. It's already almost 8 o'clock where I'm at, and I desperately need some sleep. Got a 10-hour day tomorrow, and pretty much all week. Alright, and then I'm working this weekend again, so that's going to be great. Um, now that we have this, now that we have this, we need to have our gear drive interact with the platform, okay? So we're going to click on our gear. You're going to have something right here called same vessel interaction. As right now it says no, which means that this will 
clip through anything that's attached to the vessel. Anything that's shown as one vessel, every, all the parts inside will clip through each other. Now, if we click this off, suddenly this can interact with other parts that also have the same vessel interaction clipped to yes or toggled to yes. And what we want to do is we want to click on SP, this SP uh, SO6 structural panel and do the same thing. Same vessel interaction. So now these two can interact with each other, which is what our gear drive is going to need in order to actually work. Okay, so if some of you are probably saying, I gotta go, Veos. Yeah, get some sleep. Get some sleep. Good night, you sexy man. Oh. <laughs> well, you good night there, Bonnie21CZ. Oh my gosh, I screwed that up so bad. Yeah, get some sleep. Dream of space. Dream of the stars. And never look back. Be honest, how much did I miss? Uh, we're just getting started, actually. So I think you're good. Now, if you're asking, hey, Veos, I clicked on the part and I don't get the same vessel interaction thing going on over here. Well, there's a way to there's a way to stop that. You hit exit. Does it work here? No, it does not. But I will show you when you get out and you, you can go to the, it's either the main menu or the game world. You hit exit. You go into options. There's a little thing there you can click on it says uh, something like advanced tweakables you click on that and make sure it's on and that will allow you for these little options to pop up every time you right click on a part that's extra options like auto strutting and all the circuit stuff it's like I'm already in bed also you can't open options in the build mode yeah 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 sadly you can't that's a real Real dick punch, but you know, it is what it is. Veos, I would like to stay more in the live, but I have school tomorrow. Good night and good life. All right, man. Good night and dream of space. Okay, now that we have this, we're pretty much already done with our gear drive. Yeah, that's simple, right? That's stupid simple. All right, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to click on our a piston hydraulic cylinder and we're gonna to want to set some of these variables so that it, it works it works <laughs> not works better but just freaking works now at this moment in time for this little guy having having a wheel that's see it's not touching it's just sliver just barely so if you have your your wheel that close to the platform what you want to do is you want to make the extension go to about 40. So right now it's at, oh my gosh, are you sure 40? I don't know, let's make it 40 first. We can worry about details later. Okay, so we're gonna make it at 40 first. Traverse rate, let's make it stupid slow so we don't accidentally kill ourselves. Dampening, good, good, good. Okay, we're gonna make it, uh, see here. Good, good. Okay, steering. steering is not enabled. Take that shit off. Okay. Steering direction normal. Blah, 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 blah. Spring and everything. Ah, here's what we need for the springs. We're not, we're not here, we're not here yet. Okay. Write this down. When you click on the steerable landing gear, go into your spring and dampener strength. And if I can remember correctly, I think you want the string spring strength to be at 100 and the dampening strength to be zero. Let me make sure I'm not steering you guys the wrong way. Can do a quick look see. Just a quick look see, okay. Load real quick. Okay, just a quick look. See, here we are. Oh, okay. So spring strength and dampening strength all at zero. Okay. See, see, this is this is this is 
This is my. This is. This is. Um. Shit, I was gonna say something cool and inspirational. I completely forgot. Anyway. Yeah. There we go. This is my resolve. My resolve to teaching you guys the absolute truth. Alright, so click on your gear. Come down here. Make sure your spring strength is at zero. And your dampening strength is at zero. Zero, zero. Okay? Same vessel interaction, yes. Spring strength and dampening strength. Zero. Okay? Same vessel interaction for the... For the... Uh, the plate. Alright. Now, I am going to say that even though I've got it lined up like this, I think you're supposed to have it lined up directly underneath the actual wheel, but we will see in testing. Love your videos. Love you, man. Thank you so much. I'm going to go to bed. Bye. Alright, noob. See you later. Take care. How many people we got watching? Like 30? That's okay. It's kind of a late night and it's, everybody has to work in the morning. 7.48. Yeah, it's getting late. Okay. I have my own plushie of his YouTube logo. <laughs> really? Oh, that's so sweet of you. I need to make plushies. I need to start making some store stuff. What does everybody think about me making store stuff? Like plushies, pillows, maybe a towel or shirt of different things, whether it's logos or whatnot. Would would that even be a thing? Would that even be a sensible thing to do? I wish I could buy a membership, but my card is canceled. Ah, I know the feeling, man. About 45 now. Oh, okay. Cool. I need more towels. <laughs> Body pillows. <laughs> a big giant body pillow. That's funny. Uh, Anichan. Oh gosh. <laughs> big body pillow. Okay. Alright, so now that we got that good, we got extension. Our extension's at 40. We're going to put it at 40 for now. It could change. Now let's go into action groups. Is everybody following along, by the way? Probably not, but that's okay. Go into your action groups. We're going to put this hydraulic cylinder on our thrust. So let's see here. Main throttle, I believe. Okay, we're going to click on the hydraulic cylinder. And I think it's dampening force. I think it's, yes, I think it is this target extension. 20%, that's fine. Let's hit save. Okay. We're going to cover this up. Actually, yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to cover this up. Okay. Cover it up. Logan just subscribed. Well, thank you so much for subscribing, Logan. And welcome to the fold. Oh, no. What did I join? Space call. So... We're going to make this a little bit a little bit more sturdier. We're going to auto strut it to heaviest part, but we're also going to take some struts and tie it down some more. Gear drives are inherently ooh, what's the word I want to look for? Uh, inherently violent is the word I want maybe. So you're going to need a lot of strength for your plate to hold on to something. There we go. And hopefully that works. Oh, also for the cylinder. Because sadly the cylinder will warp and bend. I'm telling you. This this gear drive is probably the strongest kind of Kraken. You've got your Kraken drive. <clears throat> I say Kraken drive. It's more like loophole drive. But uh, you got your docking ports. You have your reversed fuel. Which is more complicated. And I don't have time for that right now. Um, and you get your gear drive, which is one of the, one of the strongest ones because of just how glitchy some of these gears can be. Love that body pillows <laughs> got you to sub. <laughs> yeah, interesting enough, huh? Body pillow got him to sub. Hmm. Make Veos logo stickers. I gladly slap on one side of the, com of my computer tower. 
I've always thought that design looked cool. Oh, well, thank you, Logan. You're amazing, man. Thank you. Space cult. Maybe you could use three landing gear in symmetry at the end of the piston. Might help stop and uh, torque coming from a single landing gear being off center. Well, um, actually, this is a since this is a training video, I'm only going to do one. But this is how I know that great minds think alike, right? But check out one that I did earlier. See, check this out. How many gears do you see in here? Ah, yes. I don't want to say I beat you to it, but more like great minds think alike. All right, so back to what we were doing. Okay, so now that we're all followed along, we've got our gear, spring strength dampener, same vessel interaction. We've got our plate, same vessel interaction. We've got our extension to 0.40. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got our action groups. Um, our hydraulic cylinder is our main throttle. There it is, right there. So that we can control it with the shift and control key. Okay, now we're just about ready. However, interestingly enough, this thing will have some lack of control issues if we don't bite that in the butt right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna throw on some control. And of course, control needs power. So we're just gonna throw on a battery. There we go. Now, how much control? Well, that all depends. That all depends. Let's see, uh, just for this test, we're going to fly through the atmosphere and probably die. But, <laughs> but that's okay, our Kerbal. Our Kerbal's uh, prepared to die. They've signed all the contracts, wills and stuff, so they're good. Maybe if we're lucky, they'll be fine. Okay, pilot, yeah, good, we're good. Say that. And let's give them a parachute just in case, because we're nice. Yep, we're so nice. Just give them a parachute. There we go. Okay, so let's take this. Like that. And uh, hit save. And let's give it a test. Proof there isn't many new tricks you can teach Vejos. <laughs> yes, this old dog's pretty much got a lot of tricks already. Don't worry, it's just simulation. Unless you succeed, and then it was first try. That's right. That's right. Be like Batman. First try. Alright, so we don't have to pop this guy into orbit just yet. But we'll keep this here since it's a pain in the ass to try to open it. Alright, everybody. Let's do this. So I'm going to zoom in. I am going to put aim camera so we can take a look. Aim camera. Okay. Eh, there we go. Now, for gears, unfortunately, there's a very wide hitbox. So when you put them together, like I just showed you, you've got to kind of make sure they got space. Give me some space. All right, here we go. We're going to hold down the thrust. No, we're going to hold down the shift key, see what happens. Ah, see it goes up and down? That's because it's connected to the shift key. So this is going to really help. Hit SAS. And let's hold down shift and see what happens. Uh-uh. Okay. Shift is at full power. Oh, Nelly. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's not supposed to be happening. Hmm. Okay. Spring strength. Right. Okay. Maybe it's more. Maybe we gotta maybe we gotta make it extend some more. Let's go back. I guess point forty is not good enough. 
You gotta really push that bitch in there. Just squeeze her on in, good. That's what she said. All right, so instead of that, we're just gonna make we're just gonna extend our limit to 100, and we're gonna try again. <laughs> That's just <laughs> gnarly barley. It worked! Yeah, right. Okay, let's try again. Here we go. This time we got full extension, so we're going to take a real close look at it. See just how far it needs to go down before it starts acting really crazy. Here we go. Going down. Going down. We're at 42. Up, oh, up, oh, bring it back, bring it back. I need to, I need to see. Okay. So extension 42, 47, 50, 55, 58, 62. Come on, give me an angle. Give me something. 66, 71. Hello, 76. Okay. Holy crap, she is just freaking out. 80? Huh. What? Huh? Nope. Something ain't right. This is not supposed to be working like this. Something is not right. Did I forget a step? Maybe I forgot a step. Hold on. Gotta reverse the piston. No, you don't have to reverse the piston. Do you? No. Let me check. Let me check my older my older shit. I may have skipped a step, a very crucial step. Hold on, hold on. Give me a sec. Give me some space. All right, got that. Uh, yeah, that. Okay. Let's see here. That okay, let's say it's good. That just we're just stripping, we're just stripping, okay. Don't worry, we're just gonna we're streaking, it's fine, everything's fine. Okay, I'm just gonna like that and we're gonna grab this. What is this? Zero six dampening zero motor. Oh, is it the dampening streak that's killing us? Ah, I think that might be it. Yeah, 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 I think it is. Okay, hold on. Let's make an, let's make this a note. RF. Let's try dampening strength for the piston. Because dampening will kill the bug instantly. For anything. That's why you have to turn dampening off for everything. Everything. Turn, turn dampening completely off. Yep. I had dampening to 100. Okay. Now it should work. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Alright. Test number three. Hold on to your butts, because I really think this is going to work now. In three. Oh, 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 oh. I need to see what I'm doing. All right, in three, two, one, twenty-five, twenty-nine, thirty, forty, forty-four, forty-seven, fifty. Oh, come on, stop making me a liar. Fifty-eight, no, sixty, no. Why are you doing this to me? Wait. It's not moving. Eh? Did I break it? Hello? No? Hello? Did I break something? I think... This is supposed to be a tutorial for you guys. And... Unfortunately, 
ended up being a real piece of crap. Come on. Give these people something. Anything. Anything would be great. I am so sorry, everyone. This was supposed to be an awe-inspiring moment, and I just went ahead and flamingoed it up. Because flamingoed it up would be bigger than a cock up. Yep. Open. Let's go back to the original, then. See what the hell I did wrong. I'm sure you guys have run into the same, same things where it's like, it doesn't want to work. And you start scratching your head. Wait a minute. Start scratching your head as in, how in the hell? Load. Thank you. Okay. 37. Blah, 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 blah. Locked. Okay. No. Okay. Yes. Strength. Steering disabled. This. Same vessel interaction. Right, right, right. Okay. Slap a battery on there real quick. Give this one a test drive because I know this one works. Hey, get back on there. Okay. No. Bad KSP. No. Gosh damn it. Okay. Then we're going to put a really sad pilot in there. Okay, and now we're going to launch. He's like, you idiot. <laughs> spring strength on the wheel, maybe, Veos? No, spring strength and dampening strength need to be at zero in order for this to work. It's a glitch. It's not supposed to work at all. It's an absolute glitch. Remember that. It is a glitch. We are about to glitch into the back rooms. All right. Aim camera. Eh. Come here. I need a good angle here. Okay, aim camera. Okay, everyone. This, I know, works. So I'm going to look at it, hit shift. I'm just going to take a look-see. Okay. Uh, for some reason, they are, they're still staying locked, even though I hit the button that says no lock. Is it two, three, four, five, six, seven, zero? Hello? Unlock. Cannot toggle robotic parts. Okay, fine. I'm just going to have to do it manually. Here we go. Here we go. Coming down. All right. A little bit more. A little bit more. We're at point 11. Point 14. Point 15. Yep, oh, there she goes. See? 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 Looky, looky. So... Top strength, dampening is zero. This is same wheel interaction. This is same vessel interaction. We're just barely hovering. Extension, one, eight. It could be that the drive is working, but it's too heavy. Like, maybe, maybe we need two in order to do it. Huh, well that sucks. Okay, force limit, dampening, zero. Traverse rate, 0. 0.6, 20. Okay. All right, so that's probably what it is. Not screwed up, just uh, 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 it's a simulation. <laughs> so if we went full throttle on this prototype, this is what's gonna happen. It's gonna, it's not gonna end well. Once it gets into its element, it's going to really be bad for the Kerbal. Oh shit, here we go. Lost consciousness. And since I lost consciousness, I do not have control. Oh no, Kerbal, wake up. Kerbal, please wake up. Kerbal. Kerbal. This is not, this will not end well for you. Oh jeez, no, maybe. Oh, go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, lucky Kerbal. But he's still unconscious though. Yeah, we're pulling 15 G. Oh, okay, nope, that did not end well for him. 
at all. Well, um, that was just a simulation. <laughs> That was just a simulation, of course. So my theory is that the one that we were building from scrap, my theory is that the one gear is not powerful enough. So let's try two. Let's try two gears. Maybe two gears is what, what it takes. Perhaps the one gear is just slightly not strong enough to get it going. He's like, simulation. Right. <laughs> yes, look what side of the piston is extending. It's coming out of the bottom. On the new one, it's reversed. Seriously? Well, you know what? You might be right. Hold on. Let's cancel. And let's take this. Oh, shit. No, that's not going to work, huh? Let's put that back. Okay. So we reversed it. We reversed it. There we go. You might be right. You might be onto something there. Connor. Sarah Connor. I need your boots, your clothes, and your motorcycle. Alright. Still dampening strength. Okay, good, good, good. Ba la la la. Ba la 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 la. Targeting in. 0 06. Dampening 0. 80. Let's go for. Yeah, let's go for 50 just in case. Alright. I don't think that we're going to need to extend it that much, but. Why not? Okay, gonna put that shelf. Whoa! Okay, gonna put that shelf back. There we go. And click there. Try to make this stronger so it doesn't go all over the place. There we go. I think the uh, key bindings are still the same. Try to give this a little bit more control, so I'm just gonna put some fins on here. Even though that's probably not gonna matter much if it gets up and goes. Take the motor propellant out there, make it a little less. There we go. Okay, and she's got a parachute. Right, okay, good. Let's give it a shot. And three, two, one. It's what I've been saying the whole time. Yes. Well, pardon me. Mm, yash. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. Hey, look, now it's working. I'm so glad that someone has a sharp eye and is able to see that. Thank you. Thank you. Connor Ophelt. Ophelt? Is that. Is it, am I saying that right? He is our savior. Give him the sword of justice. Damn. One gear, dude. Oh, wait. I went a little too hard on that. Okay, bring it down to 30. I'm looking at the, uh, right here, I'm looking at the G's. Oh, G's. So 30 is too, is not good enough. It's giving me a little bit of oomph, but it's not, still not good enough. Go down a little bit more, 31, 34. Looking at the cylinder here. It's gonna bring it back down. Okay, lost all our G's. Trying to keep her alive, okay? I'm not, I don't want her to end up like the other guy. So we're going to go to, was it, 37? 37 gives us quite a lot of Gs, but not a lot. Slow back down. Let's try... 
Jelly be good. Uh, tipped five dollars. Simulation found. <laughs> thank you so much, Jelly. Jelly be good. Thank you so much. Appreciate your help. I really do. I love you. I love you lots. All right. Let's try forty. Hmm. Interestingly enough, I don't think we can squeeze any more out of this gear. She's reaching her gene limit. Let's bring it back down. Okay. So maybe 39 is the tipping point. No, 38. Okay, how about 50? No, 50 is not working for us. 47. 44. I'm trying to find the sweet spot, but apparently that's as much G forces we're going to get out of one gear. No, no, slow down, slow down, slow down. Ah, almost lost her. Hey, Nick Bar has become a sponsor. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for joining the membership. And welcome to the fold. Okay, whoa, hey, with the camera. So I'm going to guess that maybe it's looking like 37 or 36 is the best extension for this. Okay. So let's go back and reset that to 37. Extension to 37. So that should be our limit. Eh, okay. There we go. That that's our limit right there. Well, that's pretty much it. Now make an SSRT plane. I made one last time. Last I made one yesterday. With tier five only. And before that one was tier tier four only. But let's see what we can do. How how many how fast can we make this? Like how much can we squeeze from this? I wanna know how many pistons can we put into a small cylinder without it bugging out completely. Anybody have an idea? I'm going to say 12. We're not going to use this one, though. We're going to use something a little bit bigger. Just slightly bigger. We're going to empty this, by the way, so it's not heavy. There we go. Okay, so we're going to use something this wide. Take our little gear drive that we got going on right here. I'm gonna start duplicating it. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe six is all we can get. <laughs> Less than 36. My cracker drive with docking porta. <laughs> yeah, 200 to some odd thousand pistons. My gosh, if Unity could run something like that, that'd be amazing. You have to remember that these gears have hitboxes on them. These gears have crazy amount of hitboxes on them, so... They're going to be bumping into each other constantly. We have to remember that. It's not going to be fun. Squeeze these in. Hey, don't do that. You have to be nice to one another. There we go. Come on. Attach. Because I said so. Obey your master. Oh, you dicks. You don't want to obey your master. What the hell? 
Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna go like this. Attach them to each other. Alright. There we go. That looks nice. Ports seem to perform worse the more I add. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Hello, Maxi. How are you today? Okay, now we're gonna grab our triangles this time. A triangle. Bring it down. Rotate tool. Flip it. There we go. Same vessel on our action. I'm gonna bring it in real nice and tight. Give it that very tight feeling. Tight, like a tiger. There we go. Not quite on there, but just barely. Okay, I believe it was 37, right? Yes, okay. All right, let's put our covering on here. Kind of looks like a, a, an Orion drive, right? With the pistons and the nuclear plate in the back. A miniature Orion drive. Oh, that's another Kraken drive, by the way. You can use using um, fireworks. Maybe I should do a tutorial on that if anybody is remotely interested. All right. 62 counts. Hey, 62 people. Welcome, everybody. I love how I have like 3,000 hours playing KSP, and I always learn something I never knew from watching your videos. <laughs> well, thank you, Nick. Thank you so much. I appreciate the support. All right, same vessel in action. Oh, let's tie these together. Because these will wobble, I'm telling you. The gear drive is hella crazy. Hello kitty crazy. It is incredibly crazy. Lots of crazy. There we go. I'm not kidding. This this is this thing is can be quite Oh my Lord in heaven. Yikes! No, I don't think that's gonna work. Maybe if I... No. No. Okay. I'm trying to make it as strong as I can. Oh, there we go. So they're all tied into each other. Including the heaviest part, right? And, of course, maybe one down here. I'm telling you, these struts... To, to you need to make this thing literally unmovable in order for this to work properly this thing needs to be able to not move an inch and you bitch you did not do anyway I don't know maybe that's fine yeah I'll be okay right I'll be okay right I'll be okay right I think it'll be okay we'll be okay sure Might be okay. Right? <laughs> okay. So we've strutted the hell out of that. We've strutted the hell out of the pistons so they don't move. Everything should be solid, right? Veo's caught in 4K. <laughs> we like to push it, push it. She'll be right back, mate. Mate, she'll be she'll be right, mate. Yeah, she'll be right. Should be right. Okay, so now we want control. Oi, oi. It's a lot. Ah, shit. Uh, no, well, maybe. Okay, that's fine, right? Yeah, that'll be fine. It's not like anybody cares. There we go. Very nice. Why is my OCD starting to just go through the roof? Uh, I've got to. I got to cap it off. I'm sorry. My OCD will not allow me to not to not not cap it off. I'll take the fuel out of that, so it's lightweight. There we go. Perfect. Just freaking perfect. 
Oi, I have a very bad feeling about this. Let's give it some just control surfaces. A delta would be nice. Where's a delta? There we are. Delta Deluxe. Hmm. There we go. Looks a little funky, but I think we'll be fine. Do we have our pilot? Yes, we do. Like that. Metal propellant gone. Build. Alright. Save. Here goes nothing. Crack and drive missiles for one of your battleships. Infinite Delta V means you can just point them at the target and they should hit. <laughs> well, if you're going to use crack and drive in warships, you might as well use crack and drive in the actual warship, right? So, I mean, missiles wouldn't really help if the if the warship kept on flying away at the same speed. All right, everyone. Let's see what happens with six gear drives in 3 2 1 Full power. Uh, she's losing control. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Oh, Nelly. Nope, 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 nope. Huh. So, anybody want to pretend they know what went wrong? Is it the weight distribution? Or perhaps it's the traverse rate. You have to remember that Unity is kind of, well, meh. And so when you start adding a lot of gears to, to each other, they don't exactly read at the same time. So some engage before others do. Which unfortunately means that one side has more power than the other. This is what's actually going on. So maybe if we go slow enough... See, oh, look at that. Look, look, let's look what's going on right now. The hitboxes are bouncing into one another. Oh, that is such a buzzkill. All the hitboxes are bumping into one another. Jeez. And it's sad, too, because when you look at it in the build... They look fine, like they should operate just fine. But sadly, the hitboxes are these big, ugly squares. These invisible hitboxes are big, ugly squares. Really sucks. Have you tried the EER mod? It helps with the docking port drive because you can have up to 20 way symmetry. Well, it doesn't help if you have 20 way symmetry, but you have a game engine that doesn't read all of them at the same time. Sadly. Bios, make a wide base and turn the wheels away from one another. There's a way to do this. There's a way to do this. There is a way. If there's a will, there's a way. There is a way. Let me see. I'm going to try this. Let's see if this works. There's still over everything. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Little, little garbled right here, but I think we'll be fine. Let's try it. Because I got to get to bed. Veos, yes, why not use tweak scale? Just curious. Um, I try to keep things as stock as possible. Tweak scale changes the mechanics and the parts of the game. 
Plus, it makes everything a lot easier. And since I'm not into easier, it's not doesn't make things very challenging for me. Which doesn't really make things much fun. It's good for like maybe recreations if I wanted to build like a, a Death Star, you know? And so I can make all the I can build like a little tiny little sphere and then blow it up to a million times. Sure, I could probably do that for like a story or something. But when I start building stuff, I like to use the stock um, stuff because of the fact the challenge that that brings. If you can do it in stock, then you can do it with any mod. All right, I think this is good. Let's try it. In three, two, one, full power. Here we go. Yeah. Huh. Okay, just ticking away. I, I put it on the slow. Okay. I put it on the slowest traverse rate. So it should be start picking up power here any second now. We're at, actually, this says we're at 1G. Wait till it kicks into its element, or we're going to just take off. We're about to go into warp drive here any second now. I can feel it in my gut. There it goes. Whoa, shit! Holy shit! Whoa! Uh, I don't think she's gonna survive this. No. Please don't die. You're doing fine, you're doing fine, you're doing fine! Don't pop, don't pop, don't pop, don't pop, don't pop! Don't pop. Uh, yeah. Well, that escalated quickly. Alright. Ah, another failed simulation. <laughs> okay, so I think what we should do is we should just give it a little bit of gas, and then once we're out, of the, once we're out of the atmosphere, we can go ahead and do what we got to do. So we're going to go for half power. All right, half power. That means these things are going to go down real slow. I'm gonna real slow. See, they're pressing down. They're pressing down real slowly. Oh, there she goes. I, s I feel it. Yep, yep, yep. She's taking off. So it's only half power, so it should be fine. Okay, even though it's going slow right now, don't be fooled. It takes a while for the for the bug to activate. Would radiators help with that? Unfortunately, no. Radiators only help with internal heat, not external heat. So if you're thinking that you can enter the atmosphere and be fine with a million radiators, think again. Oh shit, here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gosh, damn it. Small heat shield for nose cone? Maybe. Okay, bring it back down. Nice and easy. Low G forces. There we go. About three G's. Use an unflated thermal shield for the nose. It's possible. I don't know if that would actually help. Does this crack and drive work on console? Uh, it should. There really is no... Sp well, other than having to go in and make same vessel interaction. Can you do that, by the way? Same vessel interaction? Alright, what should we aim for? The moon? How about we aim for Jewel? See how fast we can get to Jewel. Set target. Alright, we're aiming for Jewel. Jewel is in that direction, past the sun. We're gonna have to fly past the sun? 
Oi, 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 oi. All right, aiming for Jewel. She's going to pass out, by the way. Kind of like real hypersleep. In three, two, one, full power. Here we go. Uh, crossing my fingers. Uh, we're picking up some speed. Oh, no, we're not. Yes, we are. Oh, here comes our G's. Our G's are going up. We're past 10 G's. We're screaming to 15 G's. We're topped out at the G counter. I really have no clue on how fast we're going right now. Uh, G-wise. We're at 5,000 meters per second. 6,000 meters per second. Ah, Veos just joined. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Press F3 to see your G's. Oh, F3? Really? Oh, oh F3, obviously. Duh. We're at 20 G's so far, I guess. 9,000 meters per second. I wish live streams had better qualities. And it's probably just uh, the internet in the area. Probe core. Yes, we're going to need a probe core later on. 16,000 meters per second, by the way. We're making like a beeline for Juliet, <laughs> almost. We're at 20,000 meters per second and climbing. I'm not on fast forward, by the way. This is real time as you see Kerbin disappearing. All these little gears making this happen. Gear drive for the win, baby. Star drive. Imagine putting this on a, on a battleship. Like star drive on a battleship. Pretty cool, huh? You could use a couple of cow controllers with this system to make an abort for when the Kerbals pass out after, say, a minute at max thrust. Yeah, kind of like a navigational computer. Like when you jump into hyperspace, time stops for everybody, or it moves extremely slowly. And so for the person or the individual, it's like they don't feel anything. So they're not able to control anything, so you have to have everything already, like, pre-planned in the navigational computer, and it will turn on and then turn off after so many seconds the star drive. Without the navigational computer, you would literally be just traveling forever, because you'd never be able to move in order to turn it off. Which is pretty neat, because that means that for you personally, it's almost instantaneous. But, you know, hours, if not days, could have passed. Will you be able to stop accelerating? No, unfortunately, I'm hitting the X key and nothing's happening. She is... She's dead. L literally dead. We're, we've lost her. But it's nice to look at. <laughs> Especially when I'm about to end the stream. We're at 45,000 meters per second, by the way, and climbing. Can this work for a weapon? I'm sure it could. I'm trying to make a sub that can launch things into space from near the bottom of the sea. Well, if you're on stock... KSP, they have a crush limit depth unless you turn that off. Then you could probably do something like that. Which would be easy because all you have to do is wait for the missile to float all the way to the surface. And with KSP's weird water physics, that wouldn't be too hard. 
it'd probably throw it out a little bit off out of the water for you too just like I said the physics is kind of messed up so it spits it out of the ocean it's like Pleh. and then you like activate rockets and you're gone I've done that lots of times you should have put on a probe cord before this. Eh, this is this is all simulation. Simulation. It's fine. She's not really there. She's, you know, she's like in a capsule or something on on still on Kerbin. We're at 60,000 meters per second, by the way. If you go into non-physics time warp, You'll not have any acceleration and your pilot will wake up. Yeah, yeah, if you go into a physics time warp, she'll wake up. But what's the fun in that? <laughs> he is still streaming. I just got off work. Yay. Yeah, but we're about to close up shop, Nick. Sorry. Poor Lisa. Yeah, Lisa's gone. How many G's is that? Uh, so far, we're at 20 G's. So this is moving at 20 G's. Oh, geez. Shut up, Morty. How long for light speed, I wonder? I don't know, but we're at 70,000 meters per second as we've been talking. 70,000 meters per second. That's quick. Mun race? <laughs> yeah. I wonder how fast we can make this thing. Look at this. Kerbin is almost gone. This We're not time accelerating anything, by the way. This is all like real time in game time. Oh, there's the moon. It's disappearing. It's flying away. Bye-bye, moon. Mun. Whatever you like to be called these days. But... An SSRT! <laughs> Last week's stream was a little over three hours. Last stream was just two hours, and now you are going to end before an hour and 30 minutes? What's... what next time stream sub hour mark? I don't know. I just know I'm exhausted and I still got a whole week ahead of me. Ten hour days. It's gonna be just wonderful. Till light speed. What? Okay, 86,000 meters per second. Was it eight? Is it 80? Oh, shit, can't even remember. It's been. My brain's not working. Is it 886? No, it's not 86,000 meters per second. It's something. It's, it's some three figured number. What was it? Was it 186,000 meters per second? Uh, 11 days, 9. Scott Manley, 1 hour, 1 minute. Veo's 25 seconds. <laughs> Dude bitching about free entertainment. Laugh my ass off. Free entertainment. Nothing in life is free. You will pay for it some way, somehow. 299 792 uh, is that miles per hour or meters per second? I forget what the thing is. Let the veil sleep. Veos, is there any other way I can tip you? Unfortunately, not at this time. But you can leave a like or subscribe and share the video. And like I said, that by itself is a beautiful and wonderful gift that you can give me. And I thank you for your support. You are amazing. Meters per second. 299 meter 299 million meters per second? I could have swore that it was like 86. There was an 86 in there somewhere, damn it. Don't make me look this shit up. I'm too tired. Win Patreon. I don't know. Suze is my favorite spaceship. It's okay. It's alright. There's some concept NASA shuttles that I wish they would have had. Like the one with the big tanks on top. And it looks like a big uh, Delta. 
shaped body. I am sub, and I did like. Well, there you go. You done. You've done a lot already. Wait, what are you having problems remembering? I didn't hear that. The speed of light. No, the speed of light is something, something meters per second. Was it? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna. Oh my gosh, you're gonna make me look this up, aren't you? You suck. Speed of light is a hundred and eighty-six. Yes? Is it miles per second? No. Wait, 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 what's going on? I'm confused. I mean, yeah, I'm Googling it, right? But it was, what's, what's, what's the 100, what's the 186? Is that miles per second or meters per second? I could have swore it was meters per second. Okay, now I'm having a brain fart on a galactic scale. I'm looking at Google right now, and it's telling me something that I was not expecting. Unless I'm, unless I'm looking at it wrong. Speed of light in... Let's try MPH. Maybe that's what I'm getting confused over. Since the speed of light in a vacuum is 186,282 miles per second. Okay, so it's miles per second. So, uh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, sorry about that, everyone. <laughs> I thought it was meters per second. It's actually 186,000 miles per second. Well, shit. <laughs> Okay, I think I've proven that everybody took notes. Did you, everyone take notes? If you, if not, just reverse this um, stream and take a looky see, look see, and everything. We kind of went on the extreme side by putting six of these bad boys on here, but there you go. There's the gear drive, aka Kraken drive, aka Star drive, whatever you want to call it, and you can go ahead and I, I'm pretty sure this works on console. You can give it a shot if you want, but look, we're already at a hundred and 47,000 meters per second and it's only been 15 minutes in game so there you go okay well I'm tired um, there's probably not gonna be another stream if there is maybe midweek but like I said I'm gonna be working this weekend again so we might be streaming again if you have any ideas or suggestions you can always just put them in the comments below once I, you know, end the stream and stuff and, you know, this becomes a YouTube video. But, um, yeah, I'm going to try to make a video of something. We'll find out what. But maybe, um, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Anyway, everyone. Hey, Aveos, what's the weight of the craft? Mmm. That's a good question. Let me hit M real quick. Look at this. The total mass is 4.28 tons. There you go. Alright everyone. I'm sorry if I didn't get to your questions. I tried my best to read it as I go 35 days and 10 G's to reach the speed of light. Huh. <laughs> 35 days at... Well, if that's at 10 G's, then what's 20 G's? About Probably about half that. So about 15, 16 days to reach the speed of light? Yeah, probably. But anyway, I'll try to donate. Ah, that's okay, man. As long as you, like I said, as long as you like and subscribe, it's it's more than enough. But anyway, everyone, I got to go to bed. Thank you so much for being here, and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. We also have a membership if you're interested. Get little cool emojis and stuff. Definitely check that out. But, yeah, I'm out of here. Love you all. Take care, and I will see you all. Oh, I also wanted to tell you that, like I said, if I didn't get to your question, I apologize. But I will try to later on. A lot of times I watch these videos, I'll start reading all the chat 
while I'm watching it and I'll see people asking me questions and I'll be like, damn, I wish I could have saw that. I would have answered that for them. But so it's not like I'm ignoring anybody. I'm just, you know, trying to do one thing at a time. But anyway, love you all. Take care. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye bye. Can we raid a smaller streamer? I don't know how to raid on this thing, actually. I need to learn how to raid. Remind me to learn how to raid, by the way. You need to remind me. People, you need to remind me how to raid. But right now, I'm going to pass out because my eyelids are too heavy for my brain. So, bye-bye, everybody. Love you all. Take care. And bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Like. Please like the video and stuff. If, if it was good enough for your like, you know, because I try to earn likes. I don't, I don't beg for them. I try to earn them, you know, like a, like a real YouTuber, a real YouTuber. I try to earn them. So don't forget to like. Love you all. Bye bye.